All right, so Central Michigan takes on Oklahoma, and and this is more, I think, of a conversation, Mark. Maybe there's some novice people out there who don't really, uh, you know, bet all that often. Maybe this is their first year betting and don't understand why the lines are going to just be so big in a lot of the games going into the first week of the season. So we can expand on that for sure with the next two games we're going to talk about. I, I feel like Oklahoma State probably playing with a little chip on their shoulder all year long with this whole conference realignment stuff, but does that really apply in a week one scenario when let's be honest, central Michigan feels like they're going undefeated until they take that field and kick off. It's just the way it is to start college football. Yeah. And, and here's the thing in this game, you know, you're asking Oklahoma state at this point to basically hold and limit central Michigan to about 10 points, touchdown on a field goal or two field goals, because I question whether Oklahoma state's offense can put up 35 points in this game. Now maybe they can, but this doesn't remind reminds me of an offense last year. And I keep going back to that Baylor game, you know, where they, they struggled so much offensively uh, to be able to convert. And you had some questionable play calling uh, at the end in, in a in a goal to go situation. So uh, that's what this is really about here for Oklahoma State. How much can they limit? Because I feel like if Central Michigan gets to 17, you have a hard time for me to believe that they're going to get to 40. This has got to be in that range of 30 to six kind of game. Uh, for it to for it to go there. Uh, and again, could they have a 40-point outburst? Sure, but I believe that all comes in the first half. Like, if they can't get three and four touchdowns in the first half of this game, I don't think they'll do it in the second.